how number two became a number one tool for virologists. I'm Stephanie Hughes, a senior reporter at Marketplace. And when I say number two, I'm talking about, yep, what we flushed down the toilet. Testing that stuff at the community level for viruses is called wastewater surveillance. And if you think this sounds a little gross, well, you get used to it. It's part of my work at this point. It's, it's stool samples. Mark Johnson's a molecular virologist at the University of Missouri. He says wastewater surveillance had been around, but mostly on the shelf. And then the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated its use massively. The big advantage of doing wastewater surveillance is that with a single sample, you can monitor what's going on in an entire community. If you have plumbing attached to the local wastewater system, then any virus in your waste, it's gonna show up. It doesn't matter whether you go to the doctor, it doesn't matter whether you have insurance, it doesn't matter whether you believe in the virus, we will detect you. And wastewater surveillance, it can be a money saver. It's a lot cheaper to test uh, one community sample than to do a sampling of tons of, of patients from that community. You can also detect things besides viruses. Wastewater can also be used to measure pretty much any small molecule. Uh, one of the things we measure every week is the caffeine level because it's a good indicator of how dilute the wastewater is. The most caffeinated town in Missouri? Johnson knows which one it is. And he can tell what else we're putting in our bodies. We can also look at medicinal products or medicines, drugs, any kind of thing that is ingested, as long as it uh, has a defined structure, we can measure it from wastewater. That means Johnson can figure out how much kale we're eating. In our household, it would probably be a little less kale and a little more caffeine. But with wastewater surveillance, you can't get that granular. You don't get that kind of information from wastewater. You only get the big picture. Johnson says having more information about things like viruses, even at the community level, can help people make better informed decisions. And I mean, there's no getting around it. We all go to the bathroom. To learn more about Mark Johnson's work, you can listen to his interview on Marketplace Tech, wherever you get your podcasts.